George Washington's presidency set precedents upon which each of the 45 following presidents would base their presidencies. These include prior military experience, the creation of the cabinet advisors, serving up to eight years or two terms in office, neutrality in foreign affairs, and the farewell address at the end of one's presidency. As a first president of the United States, George Washington was well revered for his treatment of the new nation. As a patriotic value, the United States tends to emphasize its commitment to adhering to the wishes of the founding fathers. This is evident in the creation of numerous monuments and artworks dedicated to them. The construction of the Washington Square Park Arch and the tireless efforts to preserve it represents the country's de devotion to upholding the values which our nation was founded upon. The Washington Square Arch was erected in 1895 by Stanford White. Its completion was inspired by the 1889 creation of a wooden arch over Fifth Avenue to commemorate the centennial celebration of Washington's inauguration. White, who learned about architecture through an apprenticeship, always dreamed of European art, getting his inspiration from the Arc de Triomphe in France. The statue was made of white Tuckahoe marble, founded in western Connecticut and New York. It stands 77 feet tall, with an arch opening 47 feet high and two piers standing 30 feet apart. The arch frames the buildings of Fifth Avenue. On each pillar stands a statue of George Washington, statues which were created after the initial monument was erected. The left statue, George Washington as Commander-in-Chief, accompanied by fame and valor, was erected in 1916 by Herman A. McNeil. The right statue, George Washington as President, accompanied by wisdom and justice, was erected in 1918 by A. Sterling Calder. The four values, fame, valor, wisdom, and justice, are explicitly named principles that are represented allegorically and they frame literal depictions of Washington. The two sculptures of George Washington stand 30 feet apart as two strangers would. However, they are unified by the structure of the arch, wherein each pier follows a line up to meet atop the arch at an eagle at the center. The Washington as Commander-in-Chief statue wears robes signature to a military leader and holds a sword, as though ready to protect his people at all times. Fame and valor represent the importance of a president who experienced war before he could become Commander-in-Chief. Following the line of the arch leads us to Washington as president, a statue containing similar elements. He seems to have shed his robes. He stands with a more relaxed posture and holds a pensive expression. The harmony created by the similarities between each statue is a reminder that they are the same man, just in a different state of being. This allows the viewer to revere Washington as a well-rounded, experienced leader and search for that in future, pres future presidential candidates. The placement of the monument in Washington Square Park is essential to its meaning. It is accessible to citizens and tourists alike, some of whom having little knowledge of Washington's legacy. The park is a site of performance and demonstration, which in the early 1900s blurred the lines of when festivity was appropriate. This public space with free performance created accessibility for all, virtually eliminating the weight of status of passersby. Therefore, those who enter are struck with the vision of a commemoration of the founding principles of our nation. This is also symbolic of one of those principles, equal opportunity, where people from all walks of life are intended to be given the opportunity to succeed in the United States. Despite some obstacles, this is an ideal which has been upheld through time with the help of commemorative monuments. The 1890s consisted of a spike in the creation of monuments honoring the founding principles and figures in our nation due to the number of centennial celebrations of the events which founded the nation. The concern with these monuments persists today. In fact, recent attempts to conserve the Washington Square Arch represent the concern with upholding our nation's founding principles. Beginning in 1991, a 13-year, $2.7 million reconstruction project went underway. As it turned out, the rare white Tuckahoe marble was subject to water leaks, chemical erosion, aggregation, and fissures. Because of the shift in philosophy of preservation towards minimal alteration, the restoration was a success. Lights were even added so that the monument could be viewed 24-7. The project came in response to not only a monument which was crumbling and almost hazardous, but a surge in use value for the monument. The interior contains a rare spiral staircase which leads to a rooftop with a remarkable view, one which could be used to generate revenue and highlight the importance of commemorating Washington's legacy. However, this has not been put to use. Instead, an exterior glance at form is the primary means for interpreting the way Washington was intended to be commemorated as a servant to the nation as a whole through two pillars of leadership, as commander-in-chief and as president. This legacy would live on to remind us of the importance of choosing a president who could perform in both roles and uphold the values of the founding fathers.